Section 11 of the Baha'i Revelation by Thornton Chase. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Nicholas James Bridgewater. The Baha'i Revelation by Thornton Chase. Section 11. A Statement. In the name of our Lord, Baha'u'llah, God is the one who inspireth the hearts of his servants with that which he willeth. He is God. I testify with my being and identity that verily he is God. There is no God but him. He hath ever been God and will be forevermore the one the self-subsistent, the eternal. And I testify that verily the blessed perfection, His Holiness, Baha'u'llah, is no other than the most great manifestation, magnified is His grandeur and glory, who was promised in all the holy scriptures, and that the most great mystery of God, the branch extended from the ancient root, who hath decorated his head with the crown of servitude, and named himself Abdu'l-Baha, the servant of Baha, is the successor of the blessed perfection, the center of his covenant, and the aim of his testament. And I testify that the hands of the cause of God, bearers of his ordinances to the servants, and preachers of his manifestation in the countries are the saints of God and his chosen ones. By them the standard of the cause of God is raised, and his signs are promulgated among the creatures. They are the lamps of God for all in the heaven and upon earth. Upon them be the glory of God, his praise and his mercy. O ye, our brothers, who believe in God and in the books of all his religions, know that all of us are unanimously believing in the ancient entity, the eternal God, that he is the creator of all things, that, verily, he hath ever been and will continue to be forever. We also believe that the prophets and the manifestations of God were all bearers of the message of God, and that the holy scriptures are his books. Accordingly, our belief and religion is that all the prophets are of necessity as one light, one reality, and as the rays of one sun. Even though they may appear to be different each from the other, and each as a different person talking in a different tongue. Therefore, all their laws and books must needs be as one law and one book, even though some of the ordinances be, in form, contradictory to others, because all of them have spoken on the part of God, the one, the unit, and all the ordinances and laws are also revealed on his part. This assertion is in no need of further rational proof. Now we submit that there are in the Holy Scriptures references concerning the most great manifestation and other predictions and signs regarding the end of the days. These prophecies are recorded in various texts, both chronological and symbolical. All the nations have awaited the appearance of such signs and the coming manifestation of their promised one with earnest expectation. Yet, to the present day, the sun of their hopes has not appeared to them from the horizon of their expectation. As to the honorable and faithful Baha'is, they believe that, verily, the promises and prophecies given in the Holy Scriptures have become fulfilled during the nineteenth century after Christ by the appearance of the Prince of the Universe, the Most Great Baha'u'llah, exalted is his glory. This claim held by them is the best tidings to the expectant ones, and a great joy to the seekers. But only those can approve it 
who are endowed with a pure heart and fortified with the confirmation of god and who hearken with sincerity to perfect proofs to decisive and satisfactory arguments the bahai people is ready with all power and strength to prove its claim and to unfold the truth of its religion not through material force but by spiritual power not through the strength of this world but by that of the kingdom the bahais wage war with all the armies of the nations of the world not with swords and weapons but through the power of utterance and the enfoldment of the mysteries and meanings of the divine words they subdue the cities of hearts not with assaults of armies of men but rather by indisputable proofs by love compassion and affection their sword is the word of god their hosts the divine inspiration their ranks submissiveness humbleness meekness unselfishness and pure servitude in the presence of every soul of whatsoever religious nation and toward every being in existence their religion is to serve the people in the world their principle is obedience to government their teaching is summoning people unto god the true one their rewards and recompense come only from god they freely offer to people the bread of life and freely give them the water of life let him who hungers and thirsts partake freely of their table verily the doors of heaven are opened by the keys of the knowledge of his holiness baha'u'llah the paradise of enlightenment is decorated the rivers of inner significances are flowing the birds of sacred mysteries are soaring around and the spiritual foods are prepared blessed are they who eat blessed are they who drink End of section 11. Recording by Nicholas James Bridgewater. Recorded in London, England.